Hi everyone, today we're going to be working on changing out our mouse cursor for a target reticle. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so there's a few ways we can approach this. Um, a simple and easy trick is we can actually come into our player script and we can create a variable that references our crosshair image. Um, you can use whatever image you want. Uh, and then just basically set the mouse cursor to use that image. So I can show you what that looks like. Uh, so we'll create a variable called reticle. And if you want to type it, uh, just hover over your image and you can see my type is a compressed texture 2D. So I can say compressed texture 2D. And then you can set that equal to the preload. And then you can just simply drag your image into your script and it'll make the necessary reference for you. And then on the ready function, which basically when the, this object is uh, created or the object that's attached to is created, uh, we can run the code to simply set the input, set custom mouse cursor, and then you can pass in your reticle variable that you created above. And that's just a real simple and easy way to do it. Um, and it works okay. So you can you know, basically use that uh, as a baseline, but we're gonna do something a little different. Let's go ahead and delete this code and this code here. What I wanna do instead is I wanna create a separate object and just move the transform. Um, Cause I think that'll look a little bit nicer and we can do a little bit more with it. Um, so inside a canvas layer object, uh, I'm going to right click and add a child node. I'm going to search for a marker 2D and hit create. And then we're going to right click and add a child of the marker. And we're going to add a simple sprite 2D. Once we have the sprite created in the inspector tab on the right, you can drag in your crosshair image into the texture field so it loads it. And now I want to create a script in the marker. So we're going to right click attach script. I'm going to browse to a different path and I'm going to choose my scripts folder. And then I just want to call this maybe my reticle. And then I'm going to hit create. Now it's going to be a pretty simple script. There's not much going on. We're just going to create one variable called rotation underscore speed. I'm going to typecast it as an integer. And then I'm going to set that integer equal to four. For my ready function, I want to hide the uh, the mouse cursor so it doesn't overlay on top of it. Godot has a input method called set mouse mode. Uh, in that method, you can pass in input mouse mode hidden. And then if we press F6, that should hopefully, you can see our, our mouse, like it's right here. And as I move into the game space screen, it hides it from the uh, rendering layer, basically. All right, then we can go into the uh, process function. You can use physics or process, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, basically anything that's gonna run every frame is what you're looking for. And then we can set the, uh, self dot rotation uh, another way you can write that too is because this is on the parent node you can literally just call rotation and we can set that to the rotation speed times the delta so what this is saying is basically set the markers rotation equal to the current rotation plus the rotation speed times the tick rate and then because the sprite's a child of the marker, it's gonna basically do what it does. So this will work just fine. We can then set the position equal to the global mouse position. And that should pretty much complete our script. So if we hit F6, play the project, you'll see that the cursor is able to move around and actually follow along. It looks like it's a little bit big, so maybe we'll go into the sprite under transform in the inspector there's a scale option maybe i'll cut that in half 
played f6. And I think I like that a little bit better. So now if I shoot my arrow, my arrows should go to where my cursor is. Or my reticle, I should say. And that looks like it's working pretty good. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Till the next one.